Okay, and here's just a quick little optional video of, as a throwback to how segmentation was slightly different for the 32-bit systems. So I've provided a user space segment registers 32, which you can go ahead and make a 32-bit Windows VM and then run that on there. I just need to make sure that you, you know, run it, build it as release and uh, Win32 or x86, depending on what Visual Studio says. And then you want to run it on a Windows 10 32-bit system with the Visual Studio 2019 redistributable package installed. So I'll put a link to that in the uh, web page. But basically, you need that to run code that is compiled from Visual Studio with the free version, which uh, is what you're using right now. So you can go ahead and run that on the 32-bit VM. And you can also compile the ksegregs32 uh, again, making sure that it is compiled as 32-bit from Visual Studio. So you can use the same VM that you've been using thus far. You just need to change your compiler options to compile as 32-bit. And again, you can just copy it over and, uh, and invoke it. You can use the same kernel debugger mechanism to attach to your uh, VM. Just make sure that you've closed the other one because they otherwise will conflict with the uh, debug port that they're using. So I did that, and the net result of what I saw was that, again, for RPL of CS and SS, we do see the difference. We have index 1, 2, 3, 4, so the different indices for user and kernel space. And we also see RPL of zeros over here in kernel and 3 over here in user space. We see that the DS and ES segments are the same between user space and kernel space. And furthermore, we see that the actual index is the same as the SS index from user space. We see that the FS is actually different. So we've got a 6 over here for the index and a 7 over here for the index in user space. So even though, so these seem to be actually pointing at uh, different data, potentially different segments, different chunks of memory. And in the GS register, we have 0, which is a straight up invalid value. You're not ever allowed to point at uh, the GDT entry of zero. That's considered invalid and consequently, you know, that's not actually being used. So the inferences from this is that um, Windows maintains different CS, SS, and FS segment selectors for user space and kernel space. Uh, Windows doesn't change DS or ES. It does seem to change FS as mentioned right there. It doesn't use GS at all because that's a completely invalid segment selector. And once again, the RPL field of CS and SS seems to correlate to uh, kernel space and user space. So what's different from the Windows x86-64 that we just saw a little bit? Well, the in 32-bit, the FS segment selector seems to change between kernel space and user space, whereas it didn't in 64-bit. And also the GS segment selector was completely invalid uh, in uh, in 32-bit, whereas in 64-bit, it seems to be valid and it seems to be unchanging, but again, you know, seems to be, we'll come back to later why that may not actually be the case.